If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month. And we welcome Tessa Watts, who's a sixth grader at Nichols Lawson Middle School here in Silicon. And Tessa, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you with us this morning. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm a sixth grader at Nichols Lawson Middle School. Um, my mom works at Heritage South Credit Union, and my dad um, works at Alabama Power, and my brother works at Silicaga Fire Department. Okay, you got two pets too, right? Yes, sir. Now, when I saw the names of these pets, uh, they're two dogs, and Daisy and Willie Nelson. You talk about differences. Uh, how did you come about naming these dogs these names? Well, um, Daisy, we just really like the name Daisy for yeah. um, my dog. And then for Willie Nelson, it was my mom's idea. <laughs> he is very scruffy, and he's only one, and he looks like he's uh, about 100. Does he sing? <laughs> No, he does not. Um, <laughs> but my mom came up with that name, and it was very funny. It was just an idea, and we kept it. As it kind of we, stuck, we, didn't we it? Did. Uh, I've never heard of a dog named <laughs> Willie Nelson, that is for sure. Uh, talk about being a sixth grader at Nichols Lawson. Um, well, being a sixth grader at Nichols Lawson is very fun. Um, the teachers are very nice and caring, and you can tell that they really want us to learn, mm -hmm. and they really want us to get it, and they don't want us to be lost and confused. And so they're, the staff is just so great, and it's very it's just a very great environment. Now, this is your first year at Nichols Lawson, yes, right? Sir, it is. And you came from Pinecrest. Uh, talk about some of the differences uh, from fifth to sixth grade. Well, fifth grade, it was, I thought it was very hard, mm -hmm. but sixth grade, it's a lot harder than fifth, <laughs> and um, you can definitely, and we have lockers. That was a challenge. Mm -hmm. We have to switch classes, which is very, it, at first it was hard, but yeah. now I'm making it on time to every class. So it was definitely an adjustment from the elementary school. Did some of your friends from Pinecrest come with you to school over here? Um, basically all of them all right, did, all right. and we actually got a lot of new kids too. Okay. So Okay. Uh, we're talking with Tessa Watt. She is a... Uh, Sixth grader at Nichols Lawson Middle School, right out here on the Talladega Highway. And uh, what's some of the classes you're taking as a sixth grader? Um, well, first I have math, and then I have history, and then I have English, and um, I have PE with Coach Brooks, and then I have a medical detective and office assistant. What's what's the medical what? A medical detective. What's that? Um, well. The class that she teaches is basically teaching you about medical things to be aware of. Mm -hmm. and But for us, it's my fifth period, so it's basically kind of like my study hall. Yeah. But So I don't really get taught the medical detective. Yeah. It's, ba it's just um, okay. homework and stuff. Who, who's your homeroom teacher? Um, my homeroom teacher is Ms. Anna Johnson. Okay. You like her? I do. She's very sweet. All right. Uh, you're involved in some of the other extracurricular activities that go on at the school, class uh, programs and 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 uh, activities and stuff like that. Um, yes, sir. I mean, I've I have an office assistant, mm -hmm. and so that means I answer some of the phones and I might check some of the people out, and then. I, in the future, maybe next year, I hope to maybe be on the dance team. Okay. Are you in any clubs there at the school so far? Um, not yet. Okay. All right. Uh, we're talking with Tessa Watts, who's a sixth grader at Nichols Lawson uh, Middle School here in Sylacauga, and she wants to be on the dance team. And uh, I noticed that you consider your mom as your role model. Why? Um... Well, I, she's just very caring, and she does anything. She will do anything for me and does anything for me. And, like, I can just go to her for anything. She just, she's the best person. She so. take you to school? She does, every yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> does she ever get in that uh, school line and lose track of where she is and the traffic be up there and <laughs> people ever blow the horn at her? Well... They do me at Pinecrest, you know. <laughs> when, she, when we get there kind of early in the mornings, so we don't really have to deal with all of that. But the first day, it was a challenge because we got there a little bit later. Oh, yeah, I remember that first day. It was, yeah. yeah. 
traffic backed up to the high school. Right there. <laughs> uh, when you were in the third grade, you became a history fan. Talk about uh, your love of history. Well, history is still my favorite subject, but it says well, I could in third grade, I could name a lot of the presidents. Um, I kind of lost that. Mm -hmm. I cannot still name all of them, but I know facts about them and the presidents have just always really interested me. Uh, name a couple of presidents and facts about those presidents. Just pick a couple. Um, well, Andrew Jackson, mm -hmm. he actually, someone tried to assassinate him and mm -hmm. he actually picked up his cane and hit him with it. <laughs> That's what they get, isn't it? <laughs> and um, they didn't try anything else. I guess not. <laughs> so, <laughs> Give me another one. Um, well, you know, George Washington was the first president, and then there was John Adams and John Quincy Adams. And a lot of people get John Adams and John Quincy Adams confused a lot. I did at first, too. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot, a lot of Tell presidents. me about Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Abraham Lincoln actually in the Lincoln Memorial, in the back of his head, where his hair is carved mm -hmm. out, there's the face of someone in the back of his head. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know who, but I've actually been to the Lincoln Memorial, and I can actually say that there is a face carved in the back wow. of his head. That's something a lot of people don't know, that's for <laughs> sure. Now, you love spending time with your family. What do y'all like to do? Um. Well, we like to go shopping, just maybe not even to buy anything, just to mm -hmm. go around. Um, Ladies go shopping, not buy anything? <laughs> wow. Um, and then we like to um, eat out sometimes, and we like to swim in the summer, mm -hmm. and we like to grill out and sit on the front porch. and that Tell kind me of about stuff. your grandfather. My grandfather is Hugh Taylor, and he... Um, he is a horse trainer. He just got inducted into the Horsemen's Association. Like, now what is his name? Um, Hugh Taylor. Okay. He, um, he got inducted into the Horsemen's Hall of Fame. I think it was last week. That's actually, a high honor. He has trained horses for a very long time, and we actually live on his horse farm. So. Oh goodness! You have a great time, I bet. I do. Yeah. Uh, you ride horses much? Um, not, not as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. I used to actually show horses really? and I competed in the state horse show and I got sixth in the state of Alabama. Good for you. Um, thank you. And I don't ride as much as I used to, yeah. but I do still go to the barn a lot. Okay. All right. Tessa Watts, who's a sixth grader at Nichols Lawson Middle School. Uh, you ever think about, uh, I mean, sixth grade is, is a little young to be thinking about long-term future, but you ever think about that? Well, I'm not really sure mm -hmm. exactly what I would want to do yet. I've tossed around ideas just at different times, but I'm not very sure of anything yeah, yet. Yeah. It's think, definitely something to think okay. about. Yeah, you got you got plenty of time to do that, but your grades good? Um, pretty good, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what my grandson says too. <laughs> I got A B on a roll last year. Yay. So I'm shooting for it this good year. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, we're talking with Tessa Watts, who is a sixth grader at Nichols Lawson Middle School. Favorite food? My favorite food is my mom makes homemade mashed potatoes, and they are the best food ever. I don't, I don't you know how she makes them? She, like, uses one of the handheld things and picks up mashed potatoes. Like You put butter in them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, she puts mayonnaise oh, in yes. them, too. Yeah. And it, they're so good. Mm, mm, mm. That sounds good. Uh, favorite movie? Um, well, my new f like my new favorite movie is Megan Levy. What's it's that? it's about a real person. She was in the military, and mm -hmm. it's just a very great story. And then my favorite old movie is actually one that my mom um, showed to me that she liked when she was my age. It's called My Best Friend's Wedding, and it's about a girl who's best friends with a guy, and then she realized, oh my goodness, I'm losing my best friend to this girl I don't even know, and then she tries to sabotage the wedding, and it's just a story about her failure, and it's hilarious. Yeah. You enjoy going to school? Um, most of the time, yeah. yes. I mean, I don't enjoy having to get up early in the mornings, <laughs> but um, 
Yes, I do enjoy going to school. It's very fun. My friends make it fun when I go to school. Who's some of your friends? Um, well, my best friend is Maggie Forbes. Mm -hmm. My one of my other friends is Maggie Watkins, and she was actually on your show last year. Okay. Um, and then Sadie and Kaylee and Brooklyn are my right. bestest friends. So. Now, if you could go anywhere in the world, all expenses paid, you could take Willie Nelson and Daisy, <laughs> your family. Where would it be? Um, Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii? Yes. I have always wanted to go to Hawaii. I feel like in the movies and in the pictures and the TV shows, it looks so relaxing and fun. Yeah. And uh, the pictures are so pretty of the ocean and stuff. So I would really want to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming this morning. You're welcome. I appreciate you being here. She's looking at that camera right there. Her name is Tessa Watts. She's a sixth grader at Nicholas Lawson Middle School, and she is our star student of the month. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month.